Nancy is the king of our imagination, bringing stories with the light of the ancient Africa. Bread and Nancy is a griot, a chantuel, a calypsonian. What a wonderful delight. Eight legs. And we invite you to share with your friends that our Facebook page, Anansi Matters, will be carrying all kinds of facts about Anansi from now and forevermore. But particularly in this period leading up to the festival, because the festival will be transmitted um, live on our Facebook page, Anansi Matters. So write that down. I'm going to ask Gwyneth if she would assist me where I miss up, um, giving you an overview of what the various legs are. We have a partnership with Emancipation Park. So yes, they are one of our partners. City College, who has given us space to be our home. It's a beautiful, beautiful place. And the Children's Garden will be taking place in the Eli Matalon Gymnasium. This is an invitation for all schools to participate in that, in that opening gala event. And there are two primary ways in which you are invited to participate. Just come, just bring your children. But there will be a space that you will be invited to say how many children are coming and then um, bring your children to perform. We are reserving space for each school to bring two performers, but to bring as many as 10 um, children in your delegation. Now bear in mind, theme is first people. So don't bring no story about Zachariah Dumpling Head. Mm -hmm. Except you know a first person who used to eat dumpling, and that's why them call him Zachariah Dumpling Head. In other words, whatever you bring to perform should be around the theme and should help us to understand the theme. Tamara is coordinating the school's participation, and Tamara comes to us courtesy of Heart Trust NSTA. This is not the first time that the Heart Trust would have supported us in hosting a Nancy Sound Splash, but this is the first time that they have given us a person. Clap them! <laughs> to be part of the administration and part of the development and part of the rollout of the project. So that will happen on Monday, on, on Tuesday. <coughs> on Wednesday, we typically have a lunch hour presentation, which we call a lunch hour concert. Everything is in that lunch hour concert. Um, this year, we have Professor Diana Fox, who has done a great deal of work with indigenous people around the world coming to share with us in that lunch hour concert. And we also have our own indigenous person, Kasiki Kalam, who is a Jamaican Taino, for those of us who believe that the Tainos are extinct. And they will be participating in that lunch hour presentation right here in this beautiful space, which is ours. On the Thursday, a Nancy goes to college. And when a Nancy goes to college, we have very important discussions around the theme. So this year we are calling the discussion, I am not extinct. And we are locating um, that discussion in a particular area of Jamaica called White Mar, which used to be a Taino village and which used to be the location of the only Taino museum we have in Jamaica. We used to call it the Arawak Museum 
until we learn that Arawak is the language and Taino is the people and there are many, many groups of the people and we have the Tainos here. So I am not extinct and we are going to be sharing with our colleges. So again, we invite the colleges to be present here just to send us that you are coming. Let us know how many people uh, will be in your delegation and the event will also be transmitted on our Facebook page. On Friday, we big up the Ministry of Education and Youth. Over the years, at least since 2012, we have been able to have the Ministry send out bulletins to the schools that the Storytelling Festival is happening and to facilitate students participating. This year, they are facilitating in a big way. Earlier in the year, we discovered that Region 3 are going to get in trouble now. Every ministry region is a trailblazer region. But the trailblazer Region 3 that has more than 200 schools has a way of gathering these schools in a Zoom presentation. So we have said to them, can you gather your 200 schools and you know if there are a thousand students in one school, we're gone. Clear, can you gather your 200 schools in a Zoom presentation? We tell the stories with the children. Any other school that wants to join, will join on the Zoom link, but we also know, we are sure that these 200 schools will be on. And Region 3, already has the sponsors for a Nancy Goes to School. I apologize that I don't have the names of those sponsors here, but in further communication, we will be saying thanks to them. We also want to invite our Caribbean neighbors who will take part in our festival and who particularly log on to um, Nancy Gosa School, our friends in Barbados, Caribbean folklore, story time, our friends in Montserrat, our friends in Trinidad, Stephen Edwards production, who will be here live with um, one or two other persons to tell stories and therefore to go and visit schools. Our friends from the Bahamas, thank you so very much. Our friends from California, yes, get ready. It's going to be a really tremendous celebration of First People. We take a break on Saturday because we need to catch our breath. And also because we are anticipating that we will get the financial support to bring five tellers who represent First People someone from Mexico, and the Mexicans have been uncovering and writing about their African backgrounds, which is yeah very amazing to me. A number of books have already been published, so we hope to have one of them here. So pray that we get the financial support to do that. Uh, a storyteller from Panama, and we know of the connection to Panama, not just between Panama and Jamaica, but the entire Caribbean. And, and the building that we did there. We are anticipating that a South African teller who has had National Storytelling Day proclaimed on her birthday in honor of the work that she has been doing to be present here with us. Um, and then there is a Muslim storyteller who lives in the United States, but who tells all of those epics of Gilgamesh that we're anticipating will be here as well. I am missing one person from here. No, so we'll tell you that already. We have an answer here. But we're anticipating that we will have five international tellers. And so we take a break on the Saturday so that we can rest and they, they would, won't have a chance to rest because they will be exploring the, the other aspects of Jamaica. I missed out a very important thing and I just read it in your head. Okay. And Nancy goes to the Children's Hospital yes. on Wednesday. On, on Wednesday. Wednesday. Mm -hmm. 
and Nancy goes to the Children's Hospital. So we're going to the Bustamante Hospital for children, and we're going to the Sablomar Hospital to the children's wards. So we really take the stories to where people are who need to hear them for information, for knowledge, for upliftment, and for healing. Sunday! November 19 is International Men's Day. For all the people who say we're oh, not always celebrating Women's Day, what about International Men's Day? I think Anansi Sunsplash and Tukuma could claim that we celebrated for the first time International Men's Day in Jamaica. 2012, we put it on the calendar of our storytelling. And now we see other people are doing it. Um, in particular, we see the Ministry of Culture, Gender, Entertainment and Sport rightfully um, doing activities to mark International Men's Day. We mark International Men's Day and we have done it in various ways. We have gone to Liberty Hall and Nancy has gone to Blue Mountains and Nancy has gone to the Rastafara in Indigenous Village. So that International Men's Day become a critical outreach arm of our storytelling festival. This year, we go to Pear Tree Grove, to Scotland Spring, the beautiful rural home of Wesley Scott. For those of you who know that name, he is a singer with the NDTC singers. And we will be in the most beautiful Jamaican environment with Maskita and, <laughs> <laughs> and cricket and breadfruit tree and all of this one and a little spring. That's why it named Scotland Spring and a beautiful little spring. And we focus on the men. Bring everybody, bring your entire family, but the men are going to be telling stories and the men are going to be having a cook-off, right? A Nancy cook-off. And then the, the, the admission is free of cost, but you buy your food and you buy your the bar. What else should I tell you about? Right, so Wesley Scott also not just lives in this beautiful community, but served for many years as the chairman of the Pear Tree Grove Primary School. So we want to see this as, a, as assisting Wesley to give back to the community. And we're anticipating that when you buy out the bar and buy out the food, no matter how it tastes, we can <laughs> we can use the proceeds to assist a child at the school in the parish of St. Catherine, yes, um, the places in Linstead, Pear Tree Grove, it's, it's just beautiful. And then one of our lifelong partners, the library has been a partner since at least 2012 when we rebranded Anansi Soundsplash and perhaps before that at least a year or two before that. The Jamaica Library Service has provided the technical assistance, the broadcasting assistance, the recording assistance, and on National Storytelling Day, and Nancy goes to the library. A senior librarian is here in the person of Mistress Patsy. Mrs. Patsy who? Gordon, I've known Mrs. Gordon all this while. So pick up the Jamaica Library Service. And on National Storytelling Day, in 13 parish libraries, between the hours of 10 to 12 or 11 to 1, there is simultaneous storytelling. Our storytellers go out to the various libraries, and we are joined by librarians, war storytellers, and local storytellers from the various communities. I used to say 13 parish libraries up to about five or six years ago, 
And every year at the end of the festival, we compile a report so that all the sponsors can see what we have been doing and so that we also have a record of what we have been doing. And one year we see 873 library. We say hello. We only have 13 parishes. So how you have 873 libraries? But on the day when Anansi goes to the library, there is something called the library network that I don't understand. There is mobile library, there are school libraries, all kinds of libraries. So we only see the little bit that we go to. But the Jamaica Library Service ensures that at least one story is told in all of the other libraries. And that's it for me. Have I left out anything? Well, if you can remind people about where... We want other people to come in. Uh, Michael Recker, who was one of the early members of Entukum, um, once said that we need different levels of storytellers. We need those who tell. We need those who write. And we need those who listen. And we need those who help to produce. So just like theatre, the people who are on the front page telling need the battle. We are particularly inviting young people. You're as young as you feel. So if you're 103 and you feel young, come and join the group. But if you are younger than that, um, come and join the group as well. Even to say, I want to see what this thing is all about. Um, so that we know that. At some point in time, you too could be numbered amongst first people. So we give thanks to the sponsors, we give thanks to the press, and now we throw the floor open in case the press who is here represented has any question. First, I have a couple. So uh, okay. first one, I mean. Can I ask Michael? Can you sit over there so we don't have to pass so far? Sit so I, I, I wanted to answer, but not the question. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. 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 Um, could you tell me the person from overseas who will be visiting to take part in the festival? Who oh, we anticipate. Oh, anticipate, that's the word. We anticipate that Trina, GCINA, Molope, M H L O P E Molope, from South Africa will be here. We anticipate that Gabriela Villa, who has been documenting Afro-Mexican um, history in the year. We, yes. We anticipate that Ruben Corbett, Panamanian who now lives in Mexico, will be here as well. Um, those three come to my head immediately. Isaac. Um, this, this specialist in uh, Muslim tales will be here. And we'll cover that as a I, I, I'm going to look up his name. Yeah, of course. And our own Jan Blake. Our own Jan Blake, who is from Man whose parents are from Manchester, Jamaica, but who was raised in Manchester, England, and who has been here on several occasions. Uh -huh. We anticipate that she will be here as well. Um, there have been anthropologists who have funded their own way to the festival um, before. So if any of them would be hearing this and would want to fund their way to the festival, then we will definitely welcome them with open arms. And very importantly, from gender studies, Dr. Uh, Professor Dan Fox oh, of yes. the University of the West Indies will be joining us. Is she here in Jamaica? She's here in Jamaica. She's here in Jamaica on her second time around. She was here before and she came back October 2021 as head of gender studies. She's fundamentally original on her. She is originally from New York, I think. <laughs> the country to it. Yes. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six. At least. Yes. 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 Yes.
concert. Yes, and she will be anchoring the lunch hour concert on Wednesday. And this is the big one, which I want to do. I'm so wonderful. No. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting a test now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amina, why should Jamaicans, young and old, be interested in storytelling in light of the entertainment that we're getting online from all over the world? Good question. Excellent question. Because first you have to know yourself. Our traditional stories represent our memory. And when you remember, your memory signifies that you have lived. That you have lived that this life that you're living is older than the period of time in which you were born. And I really believe in storytelling as a tool of remembering our scattered parts. Can you believe that yesterday I did a guest presentation um, on Marcus Lee, And when I was doing the presentation, I, I spoke about those people who were influenced by Marcus Garvey in some way, shape, or form. And in 2023, in a group of 26, only five people had heard of Claude McKay. Oh, oh, wow. And they are present generation. They are, they are not old people, they're young people, they're students in a tertiary institution. And I had to say, which school you go to? And so now I need to make a, a, a plea to the Minister of Education. Mm -hmm. When I went to school, the time I went to school, yeah. you had to learn a Claude McKay. Yeah. Every child knew who Claude McKay was and could say lovely dainty Spanish needle. When you were yet of Claude White, you be dead and so be sleeping. Do you dream of me tonight? I learned it myself. <laughs> really, really, I shall return to ease my mind of long, long years of pain. The benefit of memory. Wow. That's right. So that is why we do what we do, and that is why we are interested in storytelling. And sometimes I say, when we look at the Nancy stories, we see the, the, the millennial development goals. And now we see sustainable goals. And I say, always I go by the river. Mm. Yes. Mm. Yes. People always are plant and share food. Mm. Food security. Yes. All of these wonderful things. And two That's festivals good. ago, Dr. Knife came, Kadawami Knife, and looked at food security. And looked at food security through the Anansi stories. And we also need um, to publish that. So there's a lot of work that we have to do to gather all of these presentations and publish them. Fortunately, the COVID years forced us to record them. Mm -hmm. Very good. And so we have them recorded. Festival 2021, 22, 22, so that we can play them in this space and discuss things. I have to uh, pay tribute to Chinua Achebe, who says that the stories are our guides. Without it, we're like blind beggars, stumbling against cactus fences. But I also have to pay tribute to Ben Ockley, uh, because your question about what's going on in other spaces um, requires Ben Ockley, who told us that a nation is as sick or as healthy as the stories it tells itself about itself. Yes. So that a storyteller whose head is not in the right place mm -hmm. will be telling the kind of stories that exist in the spaces that you reference. So a sick storyteller could make their nation sick. You know, I think of um, other forms of entertainment where for the entertainment to be successful, you have to attack people. Their height, their age, their weight, their skin. Those are sick stories. 
that 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 ought not to be repeated. And I think that Entukuma grows more and more aware of that awesome responsibility to tell stories that can and unify. And there is a camp on who is encouraging youngsters who wear bags with dumps. And then trying to get a philosophy around it. Don'ts can only mean what don'ts mean. <laughs> don'ts can only mean what don'ts mean. But that, uh, okay, so Entukuma has a discourse. This is my personal thing now. That requires us to examine the chain of command. Because these bags cost almost 12,000 Jamaican dollars. No child has 12,000 Jamaican dollars. So somebody buy the bag, put it on the child back, and clap when the child go out and say, Look for my child, I'm on a bag, pretty 12,000. There's my dumb child. <laughs> In a country where Marcus Garvey extolled over and over and over again education, the virtues of education. Yes, as Bob Marley would say, you might take yourself a little spirit, not let ourselves get free our minds. And, and children learn what they do. Children learn what they do. The word means what it means, and you can't get it to mean something else. No. So that's the episode. So, so thank you all very much. I know that we have some overseas partners um, online. We are so happy that you were able to join us, spread the word. Um, we apologize for the technical. Uh, glitches with the sound earlier. We thank you that you waited on us to start. Uh, and we could time after two o'clock, but we're trying our best to um, ensure that our events will begin on time. Uh, so promoters, a very good um, Aziko. Anybody online has a question, a comment? No comments online. Uh, but you can send us the comments to Anansi Matters Facebook page. You can also check out our Anansi website, Anansi Soundsplash website, site, which is now being updated. So by the end of next week, it should be up. Uh, Tamara Graham EC. Graham, G R A H A M T A. M A R A E C at yahoo.com for J A M A I C A N T U K U M A at Gmail. Mm -hmm. And then we have a secretary at telephone number. What's that number, please? 225 876-225-9591. 876-225-9591. Nine one. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Clap yourself. Clap November twelfth to twenty. Don't miss it. Oh, Red Nancy, 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 Nancy is the king of our imagination, bringing stories with the light. Of the ancient Africa, bread and Nancy is a griot, a chantuela calypsonian. What a wonderful.